What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and today we're going to be solving the Legend of the Sea in Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. This is a fun thing and I think it's technically a paradox. <laughs> Cause this game involves time travel, right? So you're gonna be getting a request here in Pokemon Legends Arceus that says, the sea's legend. The Pokemon that Professor Laventon saw in this ocean might be connected to the Pokemon that appears in the sea's legend. Current objective, solve the mystery of the sea's legend and catch the Pokemon that the Professor Lavington saw. And you get three Comet Shards. Those are not the, the $10,000 ones, those are the $15,000 ones. Those are, those are big monies. This quest unlocks after you help quell the Frenzy Noble Arcanine. And the first thing we're gonna do is save the game and turn it off. Then we're gonna boot up Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Forgot how long this boot screen takes. How do I fly in this game? Oh, that's right, I have to pull up a map. Oh, it feels so old. It feels just, just antiquated. First thing I'm gonna do is make my way to Canaleve City and I'm gonna head to the Canyon Leave Library because who doesn't enjoy a nice trip to the library, right? Get your edumacations on. Let's go up to the second floor. And I believe it's over here. The shelves are lined with books. This book is titled The Sea's Legend. We found it. It's a text that only recently discovered and its ancient letters were decoded. Would you like to read it? Yes. Once upon a time in the East Sea, there was a Pokemon known as the Prince. If you're not familiar, the Prince of the Sea is typically a term given to Manaphy. A brave human asked Pokemon living in the sea to let them see the Prince. Mantike, Buizel, and a Quillfish with huge spikes acknowledged the human's bravery and joined them. Make a screen recording of that. Together, they set off in a boat over the sun-strucken sea, sailing through the ocean gate. News of this reached the ears of the prince, who went to meet the brave little party at the seaside hollow. Now we're gonna turn the game off and we are going to boot up Legends Arceus. By the way, uh, just letting you know, you do not have to have Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. In fact, all you need to know is the knowledge that that book gave you. You don't need to actually have the save data or the game or anything else. In fact, just watching this video, you don't have to have Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl. So the book did see the East Sea, and we know that Shellos appears in two areas. It appears over here, the Obsidian Fieldlands, the West Sea version of Shellos, and the East Sea version of Shellos and Gastrodon appear in the Cobalt Coastlands. So let's head over there. Mantike, Buizel, and a Quillfish with huge spikes. Well, we know that Quillfish now has a new regional evolution, being Overquill. So Mantike, Buizel, and Overquill. Here I have a Buizel, Voltorb. I'm gonna, I'm gonna box you for a minute there, dog. Overquill, I already made a video on how to get yourself one of them. I have actually evolved all my Mantike. Let's go catch another one. <laughs> There's Mantike. <laughs> Great, got Mantike. So the book said that we had to have a party of Buizel, a Quillfish with huge spikes, and a Mantike. We have all three of those. They set off in a boat over the sun-stricken sea, sailing through the Ocean Gate. Well, we know that that is the Ocean Gate and a sun-stricken sea. That's probably gonna be uh, evening. The same time that Fioni appeared in Pokemon Snap too. That's neat. I really do think it's pretty cool how uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pearl, which released last November, has this book, it being the only difference between Diamond and Pearl and Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pearl. And this book is telling you about the Legend of the Sea, which then takes place in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So uh, this is this is my boat. It's Basque Legion, Mantike, Overquill, and Buizel. Let's head into the sea's gate. You! You heard something that sounded like a cry and a boulder shifting in the distance. If we look on our map now, we will now have the seaside hollow marked. Fantastic! We can now remove all these Pokemon from our party. Now this encounter, you can do one of two ways. You can treat it like a regular Pokemon encounter, just go into battle, or I am going to recommend a bunch of Jet Balls, Spoiled Apricorns, and I also want some Sticky Globs. Do I have any Sticky Globs? From here, we're now gonna make our way over to the Seaside Hollow, which if you didn't know, there's actually a neat little tunnel right here that lets you just kind of cut through the mountain as soon as you unlock Basque Legion, which is neat. 
up here at the title passage. There's also a cool thing on the wall. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't actually mean anything. It's just a picture of some Pokemon. Well, at least I don't think there is anything because I haven't found a use for him yet. And here we go. This is the Seaside Hollow. Before you enter, I am going to recommend putting down a heart save because there is a very good chance you're going to die in here. I'm going to reconfigure my items so that I have jet balls, sticky globs, and I also have smoke bombs. I don't know if the smoke bombs are actually going to help. And let's enter. A cutscene ensues. It's Fioni. No, Manaphy. Those are Fioni. Yeah, that's how that works. Soon as you enter here, the Pokemon are immediately going to see you and aggro onto you. From there, they have long range attacks and you're going to see this little blue shield around them. This blue shield means that they are currently being protected and oh god, they all fire at once. But you can use a sticky glob, get rid of their shield. After their shield is down, you can throw a Pokeball at them and I'm not doing too hot. All right, we caught one of the Fioni, nice. They're shooting at me, and they killed me. I'm gonna reset the game, because I'm convinced I could do this in one life. Oh yeah, soon as soon as you come in, they're gonna see you. Uh, what if we leave the room and come back in? It looks like I actually might have a second there to drop down a smoke bomb. And then we duck down. Nope, they are always going to see you. So let's run off to the side. Let's focus on one. We know that we need three sticky globs. Jet ball. One, two, three. Jet ball. Here's the attacks. We dodged all of them. Great. One, two, three. Jet ball to the back. You, mister. One, two, three. Jet ball to the back. One. Oh. Wait, we caught Manaphy, so it's over? Are the Fioni still? They're still here, okay, great. Perfect. Oh, he's still stunned, perfect. Oh, nope, nope, he's no longer stunned. You, mister, come back here. One, oh, okay. After the shield is down, they only take one subsequent sticky glob. And you, you're getting ready for a bubble. Boop. And from the back. Is that all of them? Nope. Sir, please get in the ball. Get in the ball. Nope. Okay. Keep in mind, if you wanted to, you could have done this entire thing as a simple Pokemon battle and not actually done the whole action sequence, which is pretty neat. I'm just kind of trying to challenge myself with doing all of the legendaries in this game as just in, uh, like, overworld battle encounters. Yep, totally gonna knock it out. Well, I defeated one, which is neat. <laughs> and there we go. That's, uh, that's how you could get the mythical Pokemon Manaphy. And we solved the Seas Legend. We need to go speak with Professor Lamington, and luckily we actually don't need to go all the way back to town. We could just speak to him here at the camp. Thanks for the continuity game. I see you caught our mysterious swimmer. So it was Manaphy all along. It seems Manaphy here is a migratory Pokemon drifting to and fro across the sea since long ago. At least that's what it says in the sea's legend. I've had a jolly hard time getting hold of this tome, but it seems as though it was worth it in the end. And there you go, request 66, the sea's legend. Three comet shards. Is that $45,000? Yeah, each one is worth 15. That's $45,000. And you know, also the mythical Pokemon Manaphy, and the, I'm using air quotes right now, although my face cam is off, the mythical Pokemon Fioni. Henceforth, if you go into the Seaside Hollow, you are going to be able to encounter this Fioni at about 2%. Otherwise, it's just going to be Octillery in there. And anytime that you encounter those Fioni, they are going to be shiny locked. You cannot get a shiny one by going inside of the Seaside Hollow after completing this quest. In addition, no matter what, the Manaphy is also shiny locked. And both of the, all mythical Pokemon are shiny locked. So there you go. Come back, guys. There we go. Great. Well, there we go. That's how you're going to be able to complete the Seas Legend in Pokemon Legends RCS and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shine, and Pearl. 
I thought this was actually a pretty cool thing that was like, hey, here's the Seas Legend, and funny enough, you need to know about the future in order to do a thing in the past, which as I mentioned before, creates a time paradox. I'm Austin John. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.